Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. Hope you have a very good day, uh, Wednesday. And what well, here is powering rain. I don't know if it's raining where you are. And uh, let me just check. Okay, so we were checking about branding. We we're checking about so many interesting things. And uh, also remember to move on with the platform. That is very, very important. So we are in unit number three. Let me check where we have to be. Okay. So today is class 17. So let me show you where we have to be. So this is the class of tonight. You can always go back and watch the classes, the past classes here. So this is the class of tonight. And the homework for tonight is 3.3. .3. So you just need to click on the option, the correct option, and that's it. Okay. So uh, try to try to move on with the platform. Remember that uh, we have a finite there for, for that one. So we need to move on. So it's not complicated to finish all the platform at once. Okay. So we're going to check the attendance. Let's see how it goes. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Here, coach, in the house. Of course. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Hi, teacher. Hello. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Here, teacher. Good. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Monica Wendy Avalos Girón. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, teacher. Good. José Figueroa Cisneros. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Peter. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Hey, Veronica, teacher. do you have access to the platform already? No, I don't have the platform. Uh -huh. No, I don't have. I don't okay. know what happened, but I don't. I can't. I can't enter. Yeah, actually, you don't appear. You don't appear in my my group. Let me just do that again, okay? Okay, uh, I will review now again, okay? I, I will tell you. Okay. Let me know so I can escalate it. Okay. Okay, let me just check if that one. All right, let me know if uh, you have access. Perfect. All right, so we're going to check 
we're going to start the class tonight and uh, check here. Okay, uh, thank you, Maria Julia. Got you here. We're going to start with a little video. This is a small one. As usual, we're going to uh, check the video and then you are going to tell me what you understand about it. Okay, so let's go for it. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so this is a different video. Tell me, what did you get from this video? Interesting, interesting video about the what is, what is branding. Uh, the, the interesting, the, the video is without speak. <clears throat> but the, the big, the big, the big brand uh, that I I saw or I or I watched in the video the big brand is Coca-Cola. Uh, in the different years in the history that increased their the salt, the salt. And uh, the the one phrase for me is very, very important uh, in this in this video is the the brand say use me for different for the different technology for different actions in the different moment use me the brand the brand say use me very good yeah actually that was very interesting use me here i am I'm here i am here for you something like that so um yeah and it's very interesting of course uh, as we discussed before Coca-Cola is one of the biggest uh, companies that have done a very nice branding in the world. 
So, very good. Any other comments or opinion on the video? Uh, me, teacher. Hmm? Uh, for me, branding is a promotion, a uh, product or service the, of the company or uh, distinctive uh, the product. Very good. What makes it different? Uh, the positive position, right, in the minds of the customers. So that will be it. And this is telling you a little bit more about the branding part, right? Good. Any other comments or opinion on the video? Yes, coach. And it says that uh, a brand is an emotion or something that you can feel when you when you see the the brand. For example, uh, that my friend said uh, Coca Cola. You you hear something like that and you feel uh, the flavor and you feel a little cool you remember the 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 cool of the the drink and something that you can remember emotion and flavor that there's any any brand very good. So yes, it's something like that. So uh, everything is linked to that. Actually, branding is is more than telling the product is good for this need. As uh, Eric says, it's linked to emotions, feelings. I mean, uh, that happens almost with all the products. For example, I mean, uh, shoes. We we have spoken about Nike uh, and some other brands. Uh, the shoes are just only shoes. There are other shoes that are not that expensive. I mean, you can buy a pair of shoes in $20, right? But it's not the same. The quality is not the same. But uh, above that one is also the feeling that you have that brand, that you own a Nike pair of shoes that costs $100, $150. That is a lot of money, but because of the branding and the quality, people prefer sometimes to pay more on those than to pay a less quality and a branding that is, we don't know which brand is it, right? Uh, of course, the designs and many other things are related to this, but the feelings and branding are very, very good. Very good, perfect, Eric. Um, any other comments or opinion? Um, yes, I, I want to comment. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. Global, globalization. At best, it was made an on ground and a transition for the uh, interplanet. That is true. So now that we live in this global world, I mean, now with the internet, the social media, and everything, we know what is happening in the world immediately. We are connected. Everything is connected. So uh, it's something very important because, I mean, we are able to buy here some of any, any kind of products, right? Shoes or computers or TVs or whatever you want. Even things that are not part of the, of the stores, you can just buy online, like eBay, Amazon, places like that. So we are open to the world. Any other comment? I guess somebody was going to say something else. In my comment, uh, the brand is uh, represented uh, the logo, uh, the data at the company, and represent the quality uh, in price is uh, more important, the brand for represent uh, the company. That is true. I mean, branding is exactly that one. Something that is going to represent and be part and be linked from the company to 
to the consumers, right? Definitely is more than just a product. It's not just a product, it's more than that. Good, so uh, let's go to the book and we're going to check the grammar that we have here. How to use causative verbs. This is the part one of this one. Um, Carla Alejandra, could you please help me reading the chart? Okay, teacher. How to use causative verbs, part one. Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercises below. Verbs make and get. Make plus someone plus verb in base form. The marketing department makes employees rev revise. revise. Yeah, revise. And goals and metrics every month. The poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. The brand experience offered by Samsung made consumers prefer their mobile phones. Now get plus someone plus infinity. I can get customers to love our premium services. The project manager said it is not possible to get all those customers to feel identified with the brand in a tour time. The advertising events will get people to order products online more often. Perfect, very good. So as you can see, the name of these verbs are causative because they cause somebody else's to do something. So when you say I make someone to do something for me, what I'm saying is that I, I make somebody else to I, I cause somebody to do something, to create an action, to react, okay? So it says verbs make and get. Those are the verbs that we're going to check today, make and get. So we're going to use make plus someone, I mean, a subject, let's say, and then uh, the verb in the base form. So here, the main verb is going to be the base form. For example, the marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. So the main verb here is revise, okay? But here what is happening is that the marketing department causes a reaction in the employees. That is to revise. They make that happens. They make that the action that is revised happens. So that's why we use two verbs here. The first one is to use or to tell the, the causative and the other is the reaction, the revise. Okay, what is revise? Anybody knows? Revisar. Very good, perfect. The other example says the poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. So as you can see, the structure is the same, but the verb may can change. It can be simple past, it can, it can be in simple present, in past participle, it can be depending on the tense. So yes, the main verb is going to be the second one that is wise or look, but the verb that gives you the tense of the sentence is make. So that verb is going to change. It can be negative as well, doesn't make, didn't make, okay? Uh, and it can be any other tense. Um, in this case, for example, what it says is that the poor identity of the brand causes that the people look for products from different companies. Okay, so it's like a cause that happens. And let's check about the last one. It says the brand experience offered by Samsung made consumers prefer their mobile phones. So again, make is like telling you the cause of something and then prefer is like the, the reaction, the, the output of the whole thing, okay? So the brand experience offered by Samsung made consumers prefer their mobile phone. That, uh, the statement here says that because of the brand experiences, that causes that people prefer this mobile phone. 
the Samsung model phones. Those are the ones, okay? Do you have any questions with this part? Yes, uh, yes teacher, teacher, excuse me. I don't <laughs> understand when uh, we use May E R makes maybe the past or no ah uh, yeah oh, so that that is going to be very easy uh this verb make is going to be in the tense of the sentence so depending of what you want to say if you say something in, in past it's going to be this in past if you say something in present this can be in simple present oh, or it can be in, uh -huh, it can be any tense okay thank you very good perfect any other question? Yes, teacher. Yep. Uh, there are brands that sell uh, themselves. Themselves, yeah. Themselves. There are brands for, uh, or for example, the Samsung. It's a refrigerator Samsung. Ah, oh, it's very cool. That's uh, branding. Yes, it's branding. The mark. They, they know they do not investigate invest large um, amount of money of money in advertising that is true so uh i believe that we spoke about that one before right so, yeah maybe the product is good with good quality and the price is nice and everything is nice but people they need to know that so that is the brand branding is telling people why this is amazing different and you have to have it right yeah. and another sometimes branding, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and another branding is for example the device very good device is i mean is the the original jeans right so of course it's going to be of good quality so yes. okay mm. i was uh, i was telling you that branding sometimes let's say in the from the point of view of the company sometimes is more important than the product itself and the quality because we also discussed that sometimes there are products that they don't have good quality and good pricing is not good nothing is good but if the branding is good the people they buy it right so branding is one of the most important parts of the company another company is the made in united kindle no need no need publicity yeah yeah, I mean, that is a very good concept. So a lot of people, for example, they prefer now to go to the United Kingdom and not to the United States, right? Because many things are happening there. Yeah, to live with Tong and, and the branding of their yeah, position for yeah. uh, elite, elite, elite yeah. people. All right, very good, nice. So the other one, it says get plus sound one plus the infinitive. So this is infinitive not the base form this is very important so get and make maybe they are similar but if you just make you are going to use the base form of the verb so revise look uh, prefer but if you just get you are going to use the infinitive okay so i can get customers to love our premium services so here get is very similar to make, okay? Maybe get is more in general. And make is something like make something to happen, right? But get is, is something more general in this case, but it's very similar. The only difference is that we're going to use here the infinity to love, to go, to be, right? So that is the important part. And also get here can can change. You can use this in simple present, in simple past, in future, in uh, any tense. So the tense of the sentence is going to be here in get. Okay. But the main verb is going to be in infinite. In, for example, here it says I can get customers to love our premium services. So it's very similar if I say I can make customers love. But the difference is the two. Only love. Love or premium services. Very, very simple. The other example says, the project manager said it is not possible to get all those customers 
to feel identified with the brand in a short time. So uh, is the structure is the same. Get all those customers is the subject, is the, the person, the someone, and then the infinite to feel. And there is another example. The advertising events will get people to order products online or up. So here in this case, we have this in future, right? We'll get, okay? Uh, it's very interesting, the second example, because it says the product manager say, so this is a third verb. So look at this example. Here, there are three verbs, say, get, and feel. But this say is part of the first idea. This idea is all together. The product manager said it's not possible. What? What is not possible? Or to get all those customers. To get those customers, what? To feel identified with the brand. So these two are always going to be here. This is going to depend on what you are going to say. Interesting that example. Uh, do you have any questions so far? The infinity uh... Is ever campaign the to the particular uh, to exactly all the infinitives always are going to be to be to go to and the verb that is the infinitive form of the verb. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure. Any other question? Clear as our chat. Okay. <laughs> so let's do the exercise. Let's see. That is true. We are going to uh, use the verbs that are here in the parentheses. Okay. Here, depending on what it says, you are going to use that one. I will give you a few minutes for you to finish, and then we are going to check, my friends. Okay, teacher.
Okay, my friends, so uh, let's check together. Uh, the number one is already there. It says customers' attention makes companies try every sort of strategy. So that will be it. Number two, who wants to share number two? Marketing helps businesses get customers to buy products. Perfect. Very good. Marketing helps businesses get customers to buy products. Amazing. Very good. Thank you, Ramiro. And uh, number three, who wants to share number three? Meet teacher. Perfect. Go ahead. Okay. We can't make people like our product without the right strategy. Okay. We can't make people, in this case, it's going to be like, because, pe because people is plural. People are. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's, uh, it's not a uh, third person, uh, but okay. the rest is perfect. Okay. Very nice. Number four. Who wants to share number four? Anybody number four? For me. Uh, hey. Sorry. Online stores to get loyal customer help with advertising, advertising events. Okay, let's analyze that. It says online stores get very good their loyal customers to help. In this case, because we use get is going to be to help. That is going to be the infinitive uh, with advertising events. Nice. Number five, who wants to share number five? Me, teacher, number five. Okay. The marketing Ooh. director make, makes people vote for the best ads. Very good, perfect. The marketing director makes, this one is with third person because is he or she, the marketing director is a third person. So the marketing director makes people vote for the best ads. Very good. Perfect. Who wants to share number six? Number six. Mm -hmm. Number six is uh, top businesses makes their employees take constant trainings on marketing. Very good. That is perfect. Amazing. Top businesses make, in this case it's only make, their employees take constant trainings on marketing. Very good. In all those things, I mean, it's possible to, to change that one. We can say, for example, in number six, the businesses made, and also it's correct because it's, we only change the tense. We can say also that businesses have made their employees take, and, and it's going to be correct. Or you can say top businesses will make their employees take, because everything is, is correct, but it's going to depend on what you want to express. If you want to express something for the future, well, you use that in future. If you want to use that in past, well, you use that in past. Okay, so that is possible as well. In this case, uh, uh, the, par the paragraph uh, is only give two options, uh, for the future or for the past, in yeah. the use. Yeah, but it's possible in any times. Make or get both, they can be in any tense. Perfect. All right, do you have any questions here? Any word 
Any pronunciation question? Okay, so let's go to the exercise number uh, six. It says teacher, we. Uh -huh. Teacher, I have a doubt uh -huh. uh, about uh -huh. when the verb in the third person uh, add the s. Ah, uh, yes, that is going to be only for he, she, and it. Whenever you are speaking uh, here, for example, the, the subject is marketing uh, help businesses. This is the subject. Since this is a plural, it's not going to be with the person. Uh, okay, here, okay. we, I mean, only because we are using can, we know that it's not a simple present tense. Remember, that is only for simple present tense. Uh, oh. Here, in this case, Stores is not a, a third person, so it's going to be get. Here, this one, since we're speaking about the marketing director, is single. It's single. And, uh -huh, and it's, it can be a, a woman or a man, right? And so uh, it's going to be a third person. It's going to be makes. Makes. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. That teacher. would be. Also, remember that this is, this is possible to build that uh, in negative. So you can say, for example, the marketing director doesn't make people and the rest of the same. So it's possible that as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, uh, now let's go to the exercise number six, building vocabulary. It says read the descriptions and unscramble the words. So these words, we need to organize the words to do, to make real words. Okay, uh, and here is the, the concept, okay? So according to the concept that is here, you are going to try to unscramble this one and put here what is going to be the brand what? I, mean, I know the number be... one. Okay, but I'm gonna give you a few minutes for everybody to check into that one and then you can say number one and the rest of the class is going to do the other one, okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect, perfect. So I'm going to give you a few minutes, check uh, the concept, and then uh, write and scramble the word, the correct word here.
Okay, my friends, let's check together. I'm very bad for this kind of game that is a scramble the words. So you are going to help. Uh, number one, Ernesto. Okay, teacher. I I think the 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 on scramble word is brand identity. Very good. I believe also that is brand identity. And says the way people recognize the brand. It may be through the logo or other associated visuals. So definitely is brand identity. Uh, who wants to share number two? Me, teacher, image. Okay. Very good, brand image. The idea of the brand that people develop in their minds and what they expect from the brand. That is actually brand image. Nice. Number three, who wants to share number three? Brand personality. Brand personality, very good. It is the emotional or personal qualities that customers associate with a particular brand. Nice. Uh, what about number four? Experience. Experience. Very good. Brand experience. A combination of everything that a customer goes through while purchasing and using the brand. Actually, that is, that is really important now for uh for the companies right it's not only the product or the image or the branding it's the experience no i mean for example the unboxing right when you buy a new product and you see the box and you open and you see how everything is put there in the box and the instructions i mean all that is the the brand experience good number five Differentiation. Differentiation. Very good. Brand differentiation. This is how a brand stands out in the crowd. So uh, the meaning on the on the on the sentence below that it says this is how a brand stands out in the crowd is that exactly is the way that companies uh, are different from the rest. Right. And what is the crowd? Anybody? Multitude. Multitude. Very good. Nice. Very good. Any questions here in this exercise? For me, not teacher. Very good. So, number seven it says building vocabulary. Match the branding components to their descriptions. So, again, I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to finish this exercise, and then we're going to read and uh, compare, right? So you are free to read, check the vocabulary, you can use dictionaries, and then uh, answer the questions. A few minutes and we are back into it.
Okay, we are going to check that. So, what is going to be number one? Anybody? For me, is the perceived quality. Uh, quality. Uh, perceived quality. So, it says the customer's perception on the overall quality or superiority of a product. Very good. So, everybody agrees on this one? Perceived quality? Yes, I agree. Very well. Perfect. I, I agree with Roberto. Very good. Okay, so number two, uh, the customers consistently purchase products from their preferred brands, regardless of convenience of price. What? For, huh? for me, is the number four. Brand, brand loyalty. loyalty. Brand loyalty. Everybody agrees? Yes. Very good. Perfect. So it's going to be brand loyalty. And remember, uh, do you remember what is regardless? Regardless. Recompensa, no. Mm, but this is regardless. A uh, menos uh, que. Sin. Um, a menos que it could be. Regardless in this case is sin importar. Regardless of convenience or price. So that's why it's brand loyalty. Because it doesn't matter if the price is very expensive or if it's uh, very far away, or it's not convenient, people, for example, they always buy beer, right? If they increase the price of the beers, they say, oh, that is not good, but they continue buying beer. So that is a brand loyalty. Right? So regardless, it's like sin importar. No importa el precio, sin importar la conveniencia. Sin importar. Yeah, in this case, of course. Very good. Uh, what would be the next one? Extent to which consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. Which one is that? It's brand awarenesses. Brand awareness. Everybody agrees on that? Mm. Okay. I agree. I agree with, with, with Ramiro. Okay, extent to which consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. Very good. And the next one says, uh, all information that is considered in the realm of intellectual property that offers competitive advantage and that it should be not disclosed. Uh, which one is that one? The proprietary asset. I'm sorry? The proprietary asset. Proprietary assets. Everybody agrees? Yeah. Yes. Agree. Very good. Let's I check agree. some words here. Uh, is this all information that is considered in the real? What is real? Real is uh, dentro de o el ámbito de. Ah, en el campo de, en el ámbito de la propiedad. Dentro de. Very good. It definitely, that will be. So in the realm of intellectual property that offers competitive advantage. What is competitive advantage? Competencia. Ventaja competitiva. Ventaja competitiva. Very good. So that will be. And the last one says should not be disclosed. What is that? Es que no debe darse a conocer. No se puede divulgar. Exactly. That is uh, something that shouldn't be disclosed. Actually, almost always that is it with a negative. You should not disclose this information. That's uh, are part of some agreements. And the number five, it says proprietary assets. Uh, what will be uh, the one for that one? Let, let's do it the same way. The attributes of a brand that come into the consumer's mind when the brand is discussed. Uh, what is going to be the answer for that one? The brand association. Brand association. Very good. Perfect. Uh, in this one, I don't see any, any questions or any words that might be 
different. So, uh, any questions on this one? Not teacher. Very good. Okay, so we're going to go to exercise number eight. It says your turn. Pair work. Think of a national brand. Identify the components of their branding strategy. Use the questions below to guide you. Okay, brand awareness says, what are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the consumer's minds when shopping? Perceived quality. Do customers get the brand because of its quality? Is price key to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Brand associations. Is the brand able to activate associations in the customer's minds? Does the brand create positive feelings in customers? Are there brand extensions in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand via word or amount? Are customers satisfied with the brand? Proprietary assets. Does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? So uh, this is going to be our reading. So what we're going to do is that we're going to read all these things, okay? So the question by now is, do you have any pronunciation questions? Yes, teacher, in the perceived quality in the last line, widely available. Widely available, yeah. Widely. Yeah. Widely. What what's what the mean is the widely? Widely. Yeah, widely is ampliamente. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Any other questions? No, no the, coach. In, it's clear. In, in the brand loyalty teacher, uh, do they help promote the brand via word of moat? Moat is the pronunciation, correct? Uh, in which one, I'm sorry? Uh, in the brand, in the brand loyalty, uh -huh. uh, do they help promote the brand via word of Moat, moat, mouth, 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 mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, good. Any other questions? Okay, so now it's time for you to read. We are going to read everything, uh, starting from here brand awareness, and then here below. And then we're going to read all the questions, okay? It's a very good exercise because we're going to practice reading uh, questions. So let's start with uh, Monica. Is it possible for you? I don't know if it's possible. Maybe not. Okay, Ernesto, could you please start? Okay. Uh, the brand awareness. Mm -hmm. What, Everything. What, okay. Brand mm. awareness. What are some associations to this brand? Are, are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer's mind when shopping? Uh, the rest also, all, all, the, all the things. Okay. Perceived quality. Do customers get the brand because of its quality? Is price key to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Brand associations. Is the brand able to activate associations in the customer's mind? Does the brand create positive 
feelings in customers? Are there brand extensions in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? Are customers satisfied with the brand? The last one, Propier pro propriety assessed. Does the brand offer distinctive feature to make feature to make it stand out from the com competitors? Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. And next one is Eric Reyes. Okay, okay, I will try. Uh, brand awareness. What are some association to this brand? Are those association effective to position the brand in the customer's minds when shopping? Perceived quality. Do customers get the brand because of of it of its quality is price key to the selection of the brand is the brand widely available and the next is brand association is the brand able to active associations in the customers minds does the brand create positive, positive feelings in customers? Are there brand extensions in the market? And the next one is brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand? brand be a word of month mouth how sorry mouth mouth mm -hmm. okay okay again do they help promote the brand be a word of mouth are customers satisfied with the brand and the last is Propriety as proprietary. Propriety as uh, does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Let's go now with Jose Alfredo. Is it possible for you? Not possible. Okay, so uh, Oscar Rene Molina. Okay, teacher, I tried. Read every quadritos. Yes, quadritos. every chart. Chart. <laughs> okay, brand awareness. What are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position? Position uh, the brand is customers, consumers, no, customers' mind when shopping. Perceived quality. The customers get the brand because of its quality is price case to the selection of the brand. Is the brand widely available? Brand association. Is the brand able to activate association of the cost customer, customer mind? Does the brand create positive feelings in customer? Are there brand extensions in the market? Brand loyalty. 
Are they many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand? By Via. word of mouth. Via es. Ah, uh -huh. bueno, en español está ahí. <laughs> Via word of mouth. Are customers satisfied with the brand? Property. ¿Cómo es eso? Proprietary. Así como está acá, sea proprietary. Propier, proprietary assets. Does the brand offer distinctive future features to make features to make this stand out from the competitors? Very good, perfect. Now we're going to go with Carla Alejandra Castillo. Okay, Roger. Brand awareness. What are some associations to this brand? Are those associations affected to position the brand in the customer's mind when shopping? Perceived quality. Do customers get the brand because of its quality? Price key to the selection of the brand. Is the brand widely available? Brand association, is the brand able to activate association in the customer's minds? Does the brand create positive feelings in customers? Are there brand extensions in the market? Brand loyalty, are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? Are customers satisfied with the brand? Proprietary assets. Does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Very good, perfect, thank you. So, uh, Roberto Carlos. Okay. okay. Brand awareness. What are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position brand the brand? in the customers my when when shopping per save the quality the customer get the brand because of its quality is price key selection of the brand is the brand widely available available widely available available is the y es de la lengua se me traba, se, la, ¿cómo se dice? Se me lengua la traba. Ah, you need red label. <laughs> is the brand, uh, brand association. Is the brand able to activate association in the customer minds? Means? Minds. Uh, minds, minds, sorry. Does the brand create positive feeling in customer? Are the brand extension in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers to this brand? Do they help promote promote uh, the brand? The award of mouth. Are customers satisfied with the brand? Proprietary asset. Does the brand offer this in the future to make it? Stand out from the competitors. It's all okay. very good, perfect. Thank you. Let's check now with Ana Hernandez. What are you going to do tonight? Uh, it's not possible for you, Ana Hernandez. Ah, uh, excuse me, microphone. Okay, Turn okay. all right. Brand awareness. What are some associations do this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer mind when shopping? Perceived quality. Uh, the customer get the brand because of this quality. Is price key the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Widely available. Available, excuse me. Brand association. Is the brand able to active activate association in the customer minds does the brand create positive feelings in the customer 
are their brand extension in the market. Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? Are customers satisfied uh, with the brand property assets? Does the brand offer distinctive feature to make it stand out from the competitors? Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Blanca Tunaka. Brand awareness. What are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer minds when shopping? Perceive quality. Do customers get the brand because of its quality, its price, case to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Widely brand available. available. Brand association. Is the brand able to activate association in the customers' minds? Does the brand create positive feelings in customers? Are there brand extension in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for the brand? For this brand, do they help promote the brand by by a word of mouth? Are customers sat satisfied with satisfied. the brand? Satisfied with the brand? Property assets. Does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Very good, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Oseas Figueroa. Not possible. Uh, Silvia Patricia Aceitino. Okay. Brand awareness. What are some association to this brand? Are those association effective to position the brand in the customer minds when shopping? Perceive quality. Do customers get the brand because of this quality? Is the price to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Brand associations. Is the brand able to activate association in the customer's minds? Does the brand create positive feelings in the customers? Are there brand station in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand by a word of mouth? Are customers satisfied with the brand? Properly assessed. Does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand up from the competitors? Very good, perfect, thank you. Let's check Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Hello. Hello. Okay. Brand awareness. What are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customers' minds when shopping? Per se, quality. Do customers get the brand because of this quality? Is price key to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Brand association. Is the brand able to activate association in the customer minds? Does the brand create positive feeling in customers? Are there brand extension in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? Are customers satisfied with the brand? Property property asset. Does the brand 
offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Okay, very good, perfect. And now let's go with Maria Julia Ramos. I'm here. Brand awareness. What are some associ associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer mind when shopping? The perceived quality. The customer get the brand because of its quality. Is bright case to selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Widely available. Widely. Okay. Brand association. Is the brand able to act actively association in the customer mind? Does the brand create positive positive feeling in customer? Are there brand ex extension in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote, promote the brand via word of the month? Are customers satisfied with the brand? Proprietary assets. Does the brand offer distinctive feature to make its, its stand out from the competitors? Very good, perfect, thank you. And now let's see, Victor Eduardo. Okay, brand awareness. What are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer's minds when shopping? Perceive quality. Do customers get the brand because of, of its quality? Is Prisca pre to the selection of the brand? Is the brand, uh, I'm sorry, is the brand widely available? Brand associations. Is the brand able to activate, activate association in the customer mind? Does the brand cre create posi positive feelings in customers? Are, the, are there brand extensions in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for the, this brand? This brand? Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? Are customers satisfied with the brand? Proprietary assets. Does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Very good, perfect. Thank you. And now, Aida Isabel. Okay. The first one, brand awareness. What are some associations uh, to this brand? Are those associations affected to position the brand in the customer mind when shopping? Perceived quality. Do customers get the brand because of its quality? Its price key to the selection of the brand. Is the brand widely available? Brand association. <clears throat> Is the brand able to activate association in the customer mind minds? Does the brand create positive feeling in the customer? Are their brand extension in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help pro promote the brand by word of mouth? Are customers satisfied with the brand? Proprietary assessed. 
does the brand offer distinctive feature to make it stand out from the competition competitor competitors Com competitors competitors okay perfect thank you now jonathan figueroa Not uh, so, oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what is the the, the text? Sorry, uh, uh, it's all the, uh, all the charts. Um, brand awareness. Uh, what are some association to this brand? Are those association effect effective? to position the brand in the customer's mind when shopping, perceive quality. Uh, do customers get the brand because of its quality? Is price key to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Brand association. Is the brand able to activate association in the customer's mind? Does the brand create positive feelings in customers? Are there brand extension in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand via word of, word of mouth? Uh, word of mouth, mouth. 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 Are customers satisfied with the brand? Pro. Pro. Proprietary. Proprietary asset. Proprietary asset. Does the brand offer distinct, distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors very good perfect thank you now mauricio rivera okay brand awareness what are some association to this brand are those association effective to position the brand in the customer's mind when shopping perceived quality do customers get the brand because of its quality? Its, pre, its price key to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Brand association. Is the brand able to activate associations in the customer's mind? Does the brand create positive feelings in customers? Are there brand extensions in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand by a word of mouth? Are customers satisfied with the brand? Proprietary assets. Does the brand offer this, uh, this distinctive feature to make it stand out from the competitors? Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Paola Hernandez. Okay, teacher. Brand awareness. What are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer's mind when shopping? Perceived quality. Perceived. To could per perceive. Sorry, teacher. Perceived. Perceived quality. Do customers get the brand because of its quality is price key to the selection of the brand. Is the brand widely available? Brand associations. Is the brand able to activate associations in the customer's minds? Does the brand create positive feeling in customers? Are the brand extensions in the market? Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? Are customers satisfied with the brand? 
proprietary assets. Does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the comp comp competitors? Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Eric Reyes. Okay, okay, I will try again. Ah, you read read. Okay, no worries. If you did, no worries. So let's try with uh, Sandra Gomez. Right? Not possible for Sandra. Okay, I believe everybody read, right? So let's check some things. Um, pronunciation, awareness, okay? And uh, what else? Minds perceive key widely available. Let's see via as in Spanish mouth. Proprietary. And that's it. So let's check some vocabulary. What is awareness? Conciencia. Very good. So you need to be conscious about the brand. Nice. Uh, what is, let's see. Uh, it says perceived quality. What is perceived? Percibido. Very good. That is it. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, widely available. Do you remember? Ampliamente disponible. Ampliamente. Yes. Ampliamente disponible. Nice. Uh, brand associations. What is that? Asociaciones de marca. Very good, perfect. And let's see what else. Um, uh, it says, do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? What is this there? Do they help promote it? Ellos hacen promoción de la marca por medio de la palabra o de boca en boca. Exactly, <laughs> that is it. Word of mouth is the boca and boca. So things that are popular because people say, and that is also something that is is very really good. If the quality of the product is good, if the price is good, is the if the experience is good, everybody is going to say, "Hey, this product is very good." So it's a word of mouth. Okay. Uh, let's see, proprietary assets. What is that? Proprietario de inventario, algo así. O de Something like that. So, uh, propietario de inventario o de, de bienes. Something like that. So, and activos. activos. That's the word. Very good. So, this is about exactly that. One. It's about, uh, let's say, the way that you are different from the others. That would be. It. Do you have any other question here? No questions. Okay. Uh, we are not going to do this one because on Friday we have a homework, right? On Friday you are going to do the branding of products or a company. So you're going to speak this. You're going to try to, to put the positive uh, feeling of a brand of a product or company to the class. So that is the homework. So we're not going to do the exercise today. Okay, uh, we're not going to do that one. We're going to practice. It's time to practice today. Let's see how it goes. Let's speak all together, okay? Uh, is there a topic that you would like to discuss? 
So it's going to be free topic today. What do you want to talk about? Music. Music, very good. I love music, okay? So uh, let's speak about what is your favorite song. Do you have a favorite song? What is that favorite song? For, for me, teacher, my favorite song is the Eric song in the group Europe. Uh, uh, Europe, uh -huh. Europe, Europe group. The name of the song is Carrie. Oh, Carrie. that is a very nice song. When lights go down. Yes, very, very good. Very good. Why do you like that song? Why? Uh huh. Um, I, I I don't know, teacher, but for me the 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 I like the the sound, but um, when when I I um, heard heard the 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 song, uh, for me in, I remember uh, the the past. Mm, okay. What you mentioned is something that happens. Sometimes uh, a song, it makes us feel exactly, we, we remember a time in our life, right? Uh, maybe a person, maybe a place, maybe or a, a moment. situation. Exactly, a situation. Yes, uh, it, it doesn't matter if the song is romantic or not, or the lyrics, sometimes it's that. It reflects a moment in your life. And that is, what sometimes makes a special one song, right? Why we we feel that it's special for us. So yeah. it's a very good thing. Yeah, teacher. It is, it is. Perfect, very good, nice. Any other person wants to share your favorite song? The favorite song for me is Another Brink of the Wall. Amazing, that is a very good song. The whole album, it's very good, and they they made history. Pink Floyd made history with that album. But that song is the most popular, right? Everybody, I believe that everybody knows that song. So why do you like that song? Uh, because for me, the video is, uh, uh, let me, uh, let me know the what thing uh, about the scholar, or the systems, the system educated system of the United States and is a, a apply for for the salvo that here is a system that all is inside uh, in our minds and not is uh, no 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 have many space for the reflection no have many space for the uh, thing for for, for myself or saying anything and but so uh, that reason but uh, the video is very attractive for me yes the, the video the, the context of the video is very good uh, have uh, many effects that for me is interesting very good yeah, it's a very nice video. I remember when I was a little kid, to be honest, uh, my, my father and his friends, uh, they go to the bars and drink some beers and things and that one. And I was there watching the TV, the videos, and Pink Floyd and the World was always there. So it was fascinating for me. I believe that at the time that the video came out, uh, it was uh, shocking for people. I mean, kids destroying school and anarchy, and a lot of things and the lyrics also i mean remind that you say we don't need no education it's like <laughs> that's crazy right but uh, yeah it's, it's a feeling that sometimes we feel like that sometimes we feel that the system of life uh, is kind of hard and we want to escape and that is the only way for us to escape another well, group does is uh, mark uh, uh, Season is kiss. Very true. Yeah, it is with the 
with the mask or or uh, makeup uh, is uh, very yamati. <laughs> it's, yeah, is interesting. Yeah, actually, that is a very good example of branding because they created in the in the band, they created a brand with the makeup, with all that thing. Uh, but the music was not very hard. I mean, it, it was not heavy. Uh, it was just rock and roll, right? But the branding that they made, uh, it was very good. So, yeah. Perfect. Good. Anybody else wants to share your favorite song? Me, teacher. Okay. My favorite song in English is We Are the Champion of Queen. Uh, for me, is motivate and uh, achievement. In, in Spanish, son, uh, creo en mí de Natalia Jiménez. Motivate me. Uh, <laughs> very good, perfect. I haven't heard the one in Spanish, but the one in English, yes. Uh, and that is, that is amazing. It's one of the best sounds ever written, in my opinion. Uh, that song is very good. Uh, yeah. the Natalia Jimenez uh, sing very good. I haven't never heard. I'm going to listen to that one after the her class. Voice, yes. Her voice is very good, teacher. Uh, you say Natalia Jimenez, and what is the name? Uh, in the in the first moment, she 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 Quinta stays Station. in a group. The the Quinta La Quinta Estación. Ah, okay. Now I know she is. What is the name of the song? I'm sorry. Creo uh, en mí. Creo en mí. Pero creo en mí. Uh, she's she she sing for us for us cuando ya era solista singer. Ah, when well, she was singing along. All right. Yes, singer along. Yes. Very good. So I I have to listen to that song. I always I am always looking for new songs to listen. Like song saying. Yeah, for the other one, I believe is uh the one from Queen is it's amazing because uh the the song reflects exactly what happens when you win. I mean, they work very hard, and it's not in easy. The, in the tournament, in the the yeah. final of the game, is is very good. Yes. Yeah, it's very popular to to be there in the in the games or anything like that when you win something and it's because of that one the lyric says that it's, it's not good i mean it's not easy they have to do a lot of things a lot of sacrifices but if you sacrifice yourself you can achieve your goals so it's it's very similar to what we are doing right now right you want to learn english you want to improve you want to do things and it's not easy it's not easy to go to your work wake up very early and then Sometimes people, they don't have dinner and they come to the class, right? It's not easy. But when you get your diploma and you go to New York and speak in English with everybody, you are going to feel very happy. So that is the sound that it says, right? Good, interesting, nice. Um, for, me, for me, not this a common the music of Silvio Rodriguez, but I... Uh, let me to song uh, many songs of him, uh, but for me the very song of Julio Rodriguez is Ojala and Date with Angels is is good. It's last because uh, uh, is due to historical events uh, that is uh, make that all the part of the history uh, made that all uh, all part of the, the, the song this the mix is very interesting and uh, all can do it uh, here it's all events historic Ro Roberto okay. is a is a political song uh, maybe yes yeah. maybe maybe yes yeah they speak about the event in Spain, uh, event in the United States when killed to Ma uh, Martin Luther King, uh, when killed to, to another. I don't remember. 
remember the, the Navy in the Spain, and, but he's a uh, revolutionary person. He is for that situation. Yeah, I believe it's about Franco. Is Franco, yeah. And Ojala is a mix in between politics and romantic and another, another heralds. <laughs> Yeah, those songs are very good. You are right. And it's very interesting. Exactly. It's different, right? So it's different. the same author, but both songs that are about two different important things in life. So you need to fight for your rights and, and know about what happens and also about what you wish to the other person. Right? So very nice, interesting, good. Any other person wants to share your favorite song? Teacher, are, yes. are you like are you like the normal song or uh, a live song in a concert? Mm, that is a very good question. Yeah, I believe that depends because there are some some artists that in live presentation they they are not that good, right? In yes, in, in a studio is very nice and it's the opposite as well. Sometimes you feel the energy in a live presentation that you don't feel when you are listening to a song. So I believe that depends. Depends on the artist, uh, depends on the kind of music. And so. But live is, is good. I know that it's good. Sometimes they do many other things that are different. I like to go to concerts. I like to go to to watch different artists because, because you can feel that, right? you can relate to the person. That. Yes, teacher. For for me in in a concert, one in one thing for me is very important is the singer or the group and talk with the with the with the people. That is true. So in the in a concert, the artists can can tell stories about the songs. I really love when they yeah, the, intro, when the they, introduction. Exactly when they explain this song is about this right, and, and then you would say, oh, I didn't know that thing right. Or when you sing with a person, I mean, another thing that is very nice in the concerts is that you listen to all the people singing the song and the experience is totally different, definitely. Yes, teacher, for example, my friends uh, comment to the, for example, um, when Alejandro Sanz uh, in the concert in El Salvador, uh, but no, no really like it. Because because Alejandro Sanz uh, don't don't talk with the with the with the people. No, but for example for for example, uh, the last year I went to the went to the concert um, Ricardo Arjona. But Ricardo Arjona yes uh, talk a lot of a lot of the introductions of, for the singer uh, talk with the people uh, in the ask at the people um, Ricardo Arjona uh, told in the concert, uh, tell me uh, what singer you, you want, you want to, to sing? Mm, okay. Yeah, that is a concert that I wanted to go. I was not able to, uh, but I know that he does, he's a very good artist. The, his songs are very good. And I have seen some shows on YouTube and it's nice, right? So you are right. Uh, depending on on the kind of show, uh, there are many good artists that you can go watch. For example, one of the concerts that a lot of I believe the most of our women are waiting is the one from this we get here in Osado, right? So, a lot of people are going to go to that. Next, I am not next, going the next anyway. the next year, March. In March, yeah. So uh, yeah, that is going to be crazy because of the performance and many other things. Very good, nice. Who wants to share your favorite song or artist as well as possible? Okay, I'm going to ask them. Juan Roberto, what is your favorite song? Uh, 
Well, my favorite song is uh, if an isn't if to is who can it be now? A man at work. Oh, that is a very nice song. Who can it be now? Yeah, the rhythm. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Yeah, that band was very good. I have some songs of them, and you know, I I like that one, but I prefer one that is called Overkill. I really love that song. Yeah. That is a very nice song. The lyrics and the way that it sings, it's very nice. Yeah. Okay. Why do you like Who Can It Be Now? Um, I like the how um, the, the rhythm, the, the instrument that they use. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a very nice song, actually. And they were very famous at that time. Very nice. Thank you, Juan Roberto. Blanca Tunaca, what is your favorite song? My favorite song is uh, Madonna, uh, the, the sing Madonna. And, okay. and tema, I don't know. I don't know much. Okay, all the songs of Madonna are the ones you like. Yes. Yeah, she is a very nice performer. Uh, she, uh, I mean, he's been in the industry for a long, long time, and she's always coming back, right? Like a virgin. I really remember <laughs> that one, like a virgin. Uh, yeah, very famous. Very famous. Yeah, maybe one of the most famous. But the other one, I believe, that is called The Material Girl. So that also was very famous. I really like one song of Madonna. I don't know if you have heard that one. That is called Secret. I really like that song. That is one of my favorite songs. If you want to listen to that one, it's kind of so, uh, it's, it's very nice. I really like that. Thank you, Blanca. Let's see. Uh, Mauricio Rivera, what is your favorite song? Um. I don't know if I, I'm going to tell you it will, but I don't have a favorite song or favorite artist because I, I enjoy the music. I, I can listen all, all kind of music. Uh, I love salsa, reggaeton, bachata, rock. Uh, I don't know. I I I I'm enjoy, I'm only enjoy the music. I don't have Very a good. specific uh, type of music or or artist. Okay, that is interesting. So you don't have a let, let's say a special song that you say uh, this is a song that I really like. Mm, not really, but I enjoy every song that I I have in my playlist. Okay, very good, interesting, very nice. Yeah, sometimes that happens, right? So you like a lot of things, and that's it. Very good. Uh, let's see who else I can ask to. Um, Carla Alejandra, what's your favorite song? I don't have a favorite song. Not at all? No. Do you like to dance? Yeah, too, but as Mauricio, I think I enjoy the music, but I don't like reggaeton. I don't like, I don't know how to say this rhythm. I don't know. Perreo. 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 Sí, es como el reto, ¿verdad? Pero hay, no, hay otro que es como, como grupero, no sé. Mm, ok, la like banda. No sé cómo... Ajá, eso, eso, mí, eso no me gusta a mí. Este, <risa> I don't like this. All yeah. Right. Uh, when I was a, a teenager, I, I really like music like Backstreet Boys, Dancing, Wet's Life, eh, Aerosmith. Mm. Coldplay, um, and lately, I think I like Regina Spector. Well, a lot, a lot. One Republic. 
I, I heard, maybe I, I can hear a, a song and I don't know the singer or the band, but I like the rhythm and, and the song and the light. But I don't have any favorite, but a lot okay. of, a lot of music like. Very good, interesting, okay, that is good. And it's interesting that what you say, sometimes that happens, right? We have different stages, different levels. So when we're kids, we like some kind of music, then when we're teenagers, another kind of music, when we, uh, when we change, also the music changes. So that is something that happens. All right, very good, my friends. So uh, we're gonna finish the class and uh, let's check how it goes. I'm going to check the attendance by now so we can go to bed. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Here I am. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Yes. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. I'm here, present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Here, teacher. Good. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Waiting for a shot of Johnny Walker. <laughs> yeah. It's coming Saturday. So, ah. <laughs> Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Victor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present. Perfect. Teacher, I checked the platform, but I don't have nothing. Okay, I also, today I check with the people in the uh, 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 English Corporativo, so let me check what we can do, okay? Okay, maybe you, you send me the mention on WhatsApp. I okay. want to know something. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Very well, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a very good night. Rest very well and dream in English. Have thank a nice you. night, teacher. Thank you. So you. Oh, okay, night. thank you. Oh, good night, team. Night. Good night, everybody. Night.